some friends. Yeah, Jesus, but the devil did it. Well, thank you, Lord. Crown his head and go with him. Amen. 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 Amen.
like just a little church. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Dead in the street. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Give it all praise to God. Yes, sir. Uh, to my Father, to my heavenly brother, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. To my pastor. Bless you. To all the ministry, pastors, and great people here. Bless you. Sir. This is the day. He's going to be glad and rejoice in it. And yeah. great glad. I advise you to go back out and come on back in. <laughs> We're going to have a lineup right here. That way I'm not going to keep getting up. We're going to get through this here. We're going to have, a, oh, I'm Deacon Easton, in case you don't know. We'll have a selection by the Brotherhood. We'll have a welcome by Sister J. Cole. And we'll get a response by a visitor. Introduction to Dean Speaker for the Women, Sister Janice Lee. Introducing the steam speaker for the men, Deacon Brooke Simon. Then we'll have a selection of congregation and recognition of the guest churches by my own pastor, Dr. A.M. Landry. And then we all will be able to have to sing, we all be able to do a little something together. That's good. All right. and that's offering. And introducing the guest minister be Dr. A.M. Landry again. Guest minister, Reverend R. Jones. Pastor of New Jerusalem, Mount, uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Invitation of Christ, Christian discipleship, prayer, a full gift, appointee. Again, we'll have a presentation. Uh -huh. Remarks by Sister J.M. Lee, our president of Senior Women Mission. Remarks by Deacon Simon, our president of Brotherhood. We'll have a benediction, doxology, the blessing of the food. Precious will be served. Well, I got encouraged. It, it ain't moving back there. <laughs> you ain't going to get full, but we're going to give you a little something to carry on your way. Amen? Amen. Brother Duke, we're going to get into this here and have a little church. Amen? Amen. 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 Right, brothers.
good afternoon. First, giving an honor to God, to my pastor, Dr. Landry, to Pastor Jones, and to the other ministers on the roster, to the deacons, and you brothers and sisters that's here in Christ. Um, I would like to welcome you to our Women and Men Annual Day. I welcome you to lift your holy hands and magnify Jesus' name. I welcome you to clap your hands. I welcome you to stomp your feet. And I welcome you to praise the Lord in the best way you know how. You are welcome. You are welcome once. You are welcome twice. You are welcome forever in the name of Jesus with somebody. 
commune going on, yeah. which starts with a prior life. Yeah. If you don't have no prior life, you don't know God. Uh -huh. In other words, we're going to flip it. To know God is to love God. Yeah. Or either to love God is to know God. It don't matter which way you put it. You got to have a relationship. And it starts by your prior life. Yeah. And it ain't about begging. Uh -oh. How about I need this, Lord? I want this, Lord. How about it starts with because of who you are? I give you the book because of who you are. I give you the praise because. It ain't about what you can do for me, but because of who you are. Yeah. The song says you're my provider, Jehovah Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're my prince of peace. Yeah. Your relationship with God has to have some community. And when you get through, when you get through talking to God, how about you get somewhere and just get still? Yeah. To listen for that small voice to whisper yeah. Yeah. in your ear. Yes. To love God is to know God. I didn't read the verses, but y'all can read them when you get home. It says, heard Sister Lee say last week, study, but the word says it too. Yeah. To show thyself approval, not unto these pastors up here. Because right. they don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. Right. But study to show thyself approved unto the Almighty. God. Yeah. That's who you're studying to show yourself approved of it then. You got to study to show yourself approved at all times to God. Stay in the word. John, Big John, 15 says and 10, if you keep my commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody got to tell you how to love God. Because the word says if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. You got to do that first. You got to start keeping some commandments. You got to surrender yourself. Just like when the pump says, put your hands up and you surrender to them. It's time you put your hands up and say, God, I surrender. I surrender all of you. I surrender my will to you, Lord. Lord, have your way in my life. Woo! As I kept my father's commandments and abided in his ears, yeah. he says, This is my commandment yeah. that you love one another as I have loved you. Yeah. All right. It's time to show some love. That's it. It's time to show love. That's all. We ain't talking about fellowshipping with God, yeah. we're talking about having a relationship with God. It's one thing to come out here, clap your hands, and praise God, but how many when you get home? How many of y'all shout when you get home? Uh -huh. How many of y'all actually praise God at home? Or is this the only place you praise God? Uh -huh. Oh, you better ask somebody from here, Reverend Angel, close this door in a minute, because I'm going to have some shouting going on. Because of who he is. Yeah. Because of who he is. The big John says, I want to 14, it says, He that keepeth my commandment and has my commandment, he it is that loveth. So don't go out here and do any and everything that you think you big and bad enough to do. And then you got the nerve to say, I love the Lord. And I know him. Mm -hmm. Had a postmaster to tell me. <laughs> he was peeking at me, believing on me, and I didn't know him. I said, okay, you keep thinking, I'm going to tell Jesus on me. And he said, a warning tell, because he, he, uh, he going to say he know me. I said, yeah, but do you know him? Uh -huh. And he looked at me, and the lady said, oh, he done made his match. I said, oh, he know you because he created you. I said, but what level does he know you of as his creation or as his child? Come on, it's a difference up in here. He can know you as his creation, but until you've been born again and have accepted him, then you're not his child. You're his creation. Yeah. Right, right. Yes, yes. We're talking about love. Yes. The word tells us over in the New Old Testament to love the Lord our God with our yeah. heart, our soul, uh -huh. our body, and our mind. What yes. does that leave out? Nothing. 
Nothing. Only obedience and giving up our will to him mm. is a requirement. And you must have a fervent prior life and a grasp on his word. Yeah. The priors of the righteous of God much. Only he alone equips and enables us to grow in Christ's likeness as we are willingly and humbly submit to his leading. That's it. We got to be willing to yeah. submit to him to lead us. Not by what the flesh wants to do. Because oh, yeah. yeah. the flesh is, it's going to always be a war with the That's flesh. Right. Amen. So it ain't about what the flesh is, Lord, about what would you have me to do. Yeah. We got to stay connected to Jesus Christ. Yes. We grow strong through the word. We grow strong through trials and tribulations. Trials and tribulations don't come to destroy us. They come to make us strong. To love God is to know God. To know God is to love God. You can't say you love God and then you won't even reach out your hand to shake to somebody and say, how are you doing today? I don't know what kind of love that is, but God is a God that sees us and he knows us. He sees it and he knows it. And he's not pleased. But thank God he's a loving God and gives us an opportunity yes. to admit I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, Brother Cecil, for not shaking your hand this morning. Yeah, all right. No problem. Some of us do it intentionally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't speaking to them. Hey, yeah. Amen. Oh, no, no, no. I hope they think they're all in a mess. Yeah. It's time to quit being childish. Yeah. And it's time to get mature. To love God is to know God. Mature it means that you're no longer a babe in the Word. Yeah, yeah. You're no longer bathed. You're no longer drinking milk. Come on, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You're eating off of the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be digesting it. Yeah, you should Lord. have an understanding. Oh, yeah. Paul said, when I was a child, I speak as a child. Oh, yeah. But when you are no longer a child in this world, to love God is to know God. Yes, and yes. if you're going to love God, you got to love your man. Whether they treat you right or don't treat you right, you got to love them in spite of. Let God handle it. If somebody do you wrong, God says, vengeance is mine, I shall repay. And I want to let y'all know, God got a great Oh, 
some of us men be dangerous. We still love the world. I know. Rather that fish We love that world. Yeah. And whenever we can, well, at least we kind of get in the flesh a little bit. Right. And when you get in the flesh, you serve to do anything. All right. All right. You hang with the boys in the flesh. All right. But John was saying, we don't see him. We ain't all over that. Yeah. I would say we have no. All of us have sin and fair shots. So yeah. right. We don't we don't sin on this journey. Yeah. But thanks be to God. Yeah. We can still go talk to God. That's right. right. And yeah. ask him to forgive us. Yeah. For all our sins. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, Lord. He did brought us. Yeah. I haven't always been good. Come on, yeah. Y'all haven't always been good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Thank you. If the Lord would call us now, all our business would be ready. No, all right. All right. All right. We're working on it. Yeah. Keep on right. working on it. Yeah. And one more thing <coughs> I want to say is, uh, where is that? Jesus Christ is light. Yeah. He mentioned that in the scripture. Yeah. See, when you come into the knowledge of who Jesus is, yeah, right. on, uh, you have come out of that shop yeah. 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 into the marvelous oh, light. Oh, you are no longer children of the shop. Oh, yeah. right. Then you start acting for cute. Yeah. You know, uh, well, Cecil, uh, the place you used to go, you don't want to go to right. the right. 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 The folks used to hang around, you don't want to hang around. Oh, right. Right. And the way you used to act, yeah. Yeah. you don't want to act that way no more. No. Right. God will bless your tongue and your mouth. Yes, he will. I used to know a guy, he said, three words, two of us cursed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One day the Lord got hold to the mouth. Yes. Yeah. And every time you turn around, now Jesus is coming out of the house. We all. We We all. We all.
very much for the a chance to acknowledge the recognizing of the guest churches that have showed up. Amen. We thank God for you taking time out your day to schedule coming this way. Amen. Amen. We got a newcomer that came with us and prayed a few minutes ago. That's Pastor Roger Robinson from New Faith Unity Missionary Baptist Church of Lockwood Drive. Please stand up and recognize. We appreciate you. Amen. I'm find out he was in the Navy like I'm in the Navy. He's my shipmate. He's all right with me. <laughs> You got to talk about, I can't nobody say three words without cussing. You talk about us, step on all my Amen. Amen. Apostle Kirk Divine with us from New Covenant Fellowship and Apostolic, Apostolic Ministries. You stand all right. And all right. Dr. Gary Chaw from the First Mount Bebo. Come. 